now we are entering into the topic of medical tourism then what is medical tourism just tell me what is medical tourism earlier it was the tourism okay when we have, we were 90s kids we will be just looking for tourism whatever whatever the way for for the, girl, the girl school will be arranging some tourist place places so we will be just uh, packed into the uh, school bus okay so for that we need to maintain the discipline and we will be visiting all the places like temple churches and other beaches and all we will be coming back okay so no issues now the everything been diversified even even the uh, uh, medical degree engineering degree and whatever it is okay e for each of uh, i mean the diversification of departments happens okay so earlier the ayush was the uh, department of uh, ayush it was but now it is elevated into the full fledged ministry uh, ayush ministry okay right like that uh, by for i mean diversification happens everywhere okay in all the department of uh, government okay right let it be so how the ayush systems uh, have uh, happened so before dealing that we can club with the medical tourism and we can uh, complete we can complete this uh, issue it is called medical tourism natural tourism eco tourism forest tourism heritage tourism there are a lot of tourism actually so there are uh, difference between the tourism and the picnic actually is the what is the difference between picnic and the tourism ba basically you people people can answer what is the difference between picnic and the tourism picnic is generally uh, generally uh, occurs with the family members and for a period of short time okay so within a day they will be visiting nearest place or uh, importance of temple or other cultural heritage sites and they will be coming back they will be back home uh, by the evening so this is this what a picnic okay for example if you are uh, if you happen to be in coimbatore and you are visiting uti then come back within a day that is called a, a picnic tour is nothing but a tour will be happening along with the friends okay and for a longer period for six months tour seven months tour seven day three months tour even for example whenever the indian cricket team visiting the australia they will be calling as australian tour not the australian picnic okay right let it be the same thing happens so picnic is short period and the tourism is a long one so that is why we call as a medical tourism then what is medical tourism for the purpose of getting treatment into other countries or other states okay uh, 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 other states from your home or apart from your your home district you are visiting some other nearest state or nearest country uh, for getting uh, treatment done that is called medical tourism okay india is rich in india one of the giant of medical tourism and why it is happening why the medical tourism is happening in india and what is the medical tourism how the government of india seeing the medical tourism as a sun rising sector you know what is the sun rising sector it is nothing but uh, it is an emerging sector okay we can say it's like uh, how the artificial intelligence and the big data and metadata are emerging nowadays so the same thing happens in in case of uh, medical tourism okay right why the medical tourism happens the content is not displayed in the the medical tourism content is not displayed uh, here okay that i will be supplying as uh, i will be supplementing with you uh, some <clears throat> some other uh, authenticated documents in later okay now i am asking okay why the uh, india is uh, uh, good for why the people around the world is seeing the india as a, one of the good, best destination for medical tourism that is a question big question and this can be asked in all the papers and uh, essay also so there is a very important topic you need to understand the structure i already told you medical tourism is nothing but the for for the purpose of getting the treatment we need to visit some other country that is called medical tourism okay fine then what is uh, uh, why what is the reason for medical tourism in india it is nothing but for example india is a colonial country where the british is dominant and we are learning the english and we speak english and professionally all the almost all the education is happening in english higher education so we people are better better okay so compared to i already told you india is a country uh, with the largest number of uh, english speaking population where the pop people's uh, mother tongue is not english so like that we simply organize for example like historically british british would and they were giving the rationalistic education where the taboo social taboos and other myths will be eliminated out of uh, the science introduction of science so english speaking and uh, is one of the biggest reason uh, for our industry and uh, the medical education has been promoted by the presidencies uh, british presidency like bombay kolkata and other uh, i mean chennai i mean madras presidency 
and the even the madras medical college mmcb been established even before the independence okay so like that they started giving some medical knowledge okay authenticated medical research based knowledge into the eastern country like india so that is one of the reason so british lineage is one of the reason and the second thing is our doctors are well equipped okay they are english speaking population nurses are english speaking population second thing and third thing is simply uh, we, geographically we are near the in, middle income countries like uh, eastern side of southeast asia consisting of, consisting of some 60 crore population uh, residing in some 13 countries including laos myanmar uh, thailand okay right let it be uh, that one then uh, the western side is africa some 3000 kilometers away and arab countries they are rich in uh, money they are uh, rich in uh, they are rich in other uh, uh, oil resources and they are making money out of it and they are also ready to spend a lot of money whatever it is so africa is a middle income country nearest so in the english speaking population so people instead of going for uh, europe and other uh, America and uh, for treatment, they are simply flying to India and uh, they are getting treated okay, for minor surgeries and major surgeries. Okay. And it is a three for uh, uh, from Sudan to from Sudan, uh, Khartoum to uh, Mumbai, it is hardly some four hours of uh, uh, flying hours apart. So Mumbai and uh, Khartoum is the capital city of Sudan. So it is hardly some four, four hours of flying hours, four hours apart uh, from flying. Okay. So it is easy for them to come into India. Okay. And moreover, uh, here uh, there are there are a lot of, for example, government of India, public-private partnerships. So major cities like uh, airport, uh, for for example, in our domestic airport like Chennai, Chennai, then um, Hyderabad, Bangalore. These are all the cities where it is uh, India is host of India is hosting many international airport where uh, the arrival and the departure happens uh, with the other African countries and all. So from them, from there, people are arriving and they are uh, simply. Uh, getting treatment and moreover it is uh, i mean the major hospitals like apollo and other forties uh, then chettinad hospital these are they are equipped with the high with the well sound knowledge doctors and they have some experience on par with the us us doctors and other because they have done their master degree in uk and the us uh, they learn i mean those people who are visiting uk and us for higher education of medical education then they receive some they, they gain some knowledge and they uh, they are familiar with those operating procedures and uh, instruments, uh, handling the instruments and all. So they are coming back to India and uh, they are establishing their own cleaning. So world level treatment can be uh, available uh, in India, Indian soil. So it is, uh, it is for example, uh, the private sector, I already told you in the secondary prevention area, the private sector is playing more. So due to the medical tourism and the foreign flow of tourists also, the secondary sector also thriving. Okay, so those people who are just sneezing in Sudan will not be coming to India simply. Okay, but they when they are uh, suffering from other ailments and higher ailments only they are flying to India. So the secondary sector has to taken care of. So that is why the government is the government of India is taking care of the secondary sector for the people of India, Republic of India. But the private sector also serves for the local people and for the foreign people, abroad people. Okay, so that is the biggest advantage of uh, tourism sector and other one. And one more is those people who are ready to give money for the treatment purpose. Okay, nearly it is uh, the difference for uh, difference for uh, currency level is some eight times. For example, if you are undergoing some surgery uh, uh, in India for uh, some three lakhs rupees, means in in, in uh, US it is some fifteen lakh rupees. Nearly five times uh, more higher than that of Indian money. So people want to reduce their money spending, so they are visiting India and landing and getting treated. Okay, so these are the one, one thing. And another one is uh, government sector, government uh, from the government sector, uh, I mean, uh, uh, so I mean, uh, politically, we are all stable, uh, politically, we are stable. Uh, for example, we, we are not like an Afghanistan, we are nearly, though we are occurring with, we people are occurring with different religion, the caste, creed and other, uh, other domestic vari variations, we are uh, clubbing together, we are a melting pot, actually, so simply, by after getting treatment and uh, they are just extending the visa and they will be within the visa time and they will be roaming all around the India and all across the India and they will be getting back. So this is, they are just using it for uh, tourism purpose also. Okay, after getting the treatment, when they become recouped and they just uh, became, they realize their health is back to normal and they are just roaming. So further, the government of India yielding some money and uh, uh, other income out of those activities. Uh, okay, so that is one of the reason and the cheapest way okay i already told you with the high quality doctors 
and uh, high quality reactors with uh, with uh, least money okay so that will be the pulling point and magnetic point for other country other country people to get treated in india and one more thing another one is i am just uh, linking with the, this uh, the ayurveda is nothing but for example india is a land of uh, many nations india is a country of many nations nation is nothing but i already told you it's a sense of blankness okay some people the people should think that uh, somehow we are connected like uh, like uh, like a language or religion or like caste or some region whatever it is but they should think okay uh one minute one minute Okay, right. Now so we are resuming. Uh, okay, so India. I, I was talking about India is a country of many nations. I, I told, and which people were having their then own traditional way of uh, healing. Okay, so traditional bone setters we we could see, but it is not authentic and all. Just I am saying for a different culture for the preservation of their health, they, they simply maintained their uh, uh, their uh, that tradition. Okay, over the health first of all. Okay, fine. Uh, then what else? Uh, what else will be the what else will be the deciding factor and uh, i already told you that uh, ayush uh, ayush system like uh, uh, ayurveda yunani uh, then uh, yoga siddha and homeopathy should not be uh, should should be seen as a complementary to each other so some diseases can be cured with the allopathy and some diseases with the siddha and all so here the very well class system okay and uh, you cannot see this kind of many type of uh, many mode of uh, healthcare system anywhere in the world okay that may be the traditional way but it is officially recognized and very scientific uh, mode of proven method you cannot see anywhere else so this is the biggest advantage of india where you can see the ayush treatment so if at all you are coming for some diseases and your lifestyle will be taken care of and your lifestyle will be modified even after the surgery and other treatments and all so that brings some sort of sheerness and healthiness to the people 
okay so that is also one of the reason for example if you are undergoing some treatment in uh, chennai then you are flying to kochi and other you are just uh, uh, going for some ayurveda in kerala then that will be complementary okay and you are just flying back to north and you are going for yoga treatment for for example some yoga yoga methodological yoga will be curing some sort of uh, diseases so this will be occurring uh, as a complementary to each other first of all so these are all the uh, advantages uh, i mean uh, india's uh, destination india becoming the uh, best uh, destination for medical tourism okay right so government of india i think fdi 100% of fdi in allowing the medical tourism i think these are one of the sunrising sector i, I told you i am not sure about this fact but i am I, somehow somewhere else i have read i think so uh, let's see okay okay uh, medical tourism okay so for this authentic some uh, yeah you have asked for uh, earlier you have raised some question uh, some uh, post graduate ayurvedic doctors can be doing the surgery okay right i need some opinion regarding that uh, i will be giving my opinion i need some opinion public i mean uh, expert opinion on it okay then after that i will be telling in some other classes now if not uh, the immediate next one okay right uh, i need to tell okay naturopathy unani and other things okay that's it so these are all the issues medical tourism and i'll be giving some uh, sample notes and a very uh, very feeble notes for medical tourism i'll be sending okay all right let it be